the executive summary. This is a very important part of your business plan because this is the one part that the investors actually want to see. They're going to say, you meet them in the elevator, you give them the elevator pitch, you find them somewhere, they say, yeah. They don't say, send me your business plan. They say, yeah, send me your executive summary. Keep it to about two pages, maybe three tops. I recommend printing it on both sides of the same sheet of paper, so at least it's perceived as one sheet of paper. The executive summary is, you can think of several ways. One is it's a summary business plan. Yeah, it's a summary of your business plan, that's for sure. You want to write the whole business plan first so you know what's in your business plan. And then you write the summary to, of course, summarize it. This is what the investors want to see because really they don't trust anybody to give them a good business plan. I hate to say it that way. So what they want to see is this, I'll tell you what, I'll take a risk, give me a couple of pages and I'll look through your business plan to see if this is worth the next thing. The executive summary really is to get you that meeting with the investor. It's a very, it's something you can, you can give to someone who's a prospective investor without really worrying about maybe selling yourself down the river. You can give it to them without a non-disclosure agreement. Uh, it's something where you don't really give away the whole business concept, but you give an overview. This is like a really mini brochure of, this is what this business is about. So an investor can say, you know, I'm interested in what you're doing. I like where you're going. I like what you've got. The concept is big enough. Now I want to take a meeting with you, see your PowerPoint presentation, see your business plan down the road. Now, one of the important ingredients of the executive summary is the first couple of sentences and that's the executive summary of the executive summary. So this is all designed to be one of those things where people just don't have enough time. Bus investors get a zillion business plans. They probably get a foot high pile of them literally every day if not every week. So you've got to give somebody in this summary the real reason like who are you? What's a nice person like you doing a business like this? What's the pain? What's the problem you're solving and why you? And it's got to be down to a couple of pages with not a whole lot of detail, but give a good idea, tell a quick story of what you're about, why you're here. And that's the importance of an executive summary.